Assalamu alaikum and uh, I'm your instructor Dr. Anil Salman and the name of the course is Operations Strategy. I believe by now you have understood that what operations management is and I am quite hopeful that this course is going to add more into your knowledge and as we proceed further this is going to give you some real lifetime experience given the nature of this course because uh, it comprises of two words one is operations and one is uh, strategy and both have a very crucial importance in terms of business well uh, first things first let me just move forward that how the course is going to be obviously this is our first lecture and uh, we have to develop a bond we have to develop a relationship so that you understand that what I'm talking about and uh, I understand that you are uh, getting what I'm trying to tell you it's going to be a kind of interactive course where you will be uh, given assignments we'll be reading a lot of uh, things that is happening at the moment when you are listening uh, to this lecture and uh, how the good managers are actually making different kinds of decisions and they are actually trying to bring the companies at the top of the list and remember uh, some people say it's the marketing some people say it's the finance but on my personal view I think it's basically the operations that makes the company uh, top shot because that is basically the process by which you are actually going to give you a you are going to give a quality product or you can say you are going to uh, develop a lean process that actually gives an edge or gives a sustainable competitive advantage of a company uh, so far a lot of things have happened like uh, given the the things that are happening around like the companies the big giants like Microsoft changed its operation strategy after Satya Nadal has come then we talk about uh, this uh, Apple iWatch has recently come out, Tim Cook coming up with new operation strategies. So that is really important that uh, what kind of strategies are employed under which circumstances when different uh, external factors are actually pushing you to do so. Now ladies and gentlemen, I must say that uh, uh, coming on to the first part about myself, uh, I usually uh, I joke with the students that if you want to know about if you want to know more about me just google my name but given that uh, you are already in the virtual world with me let me just tell you about myself my name is uh, uh, Anil Salman and uh, regarding my education I have my PhD in uh, economics with my majors in business and uh, now coming on to the descending order uh, before uh, going for my PhD I had my master's in economics and master's in business administration with my majors in marketing and uh, uh, management strategies and I have been uh, experience uh, regarding experience I have been training and I have been teaching in a number of universities and training the corporate sector I'm a motivational uh, speaker I train the human resource people I train the operations and uh, supply chain is one of my niche uh, uh, regarding my experience I have both in Pakistan and given my PhDs from US so over there I have been working with both government NGOs and the corporate sector in uh, New York in Washington DC so I have a quite a diverse experience in terms of understanding the cultural diversity and how these business managers make decisions what are their mindset and what are they uh, trying to achieve and how different they are in terms of their uh, strategies when we come and land here in Pakistan when we work in Nepal when we work in China what are the crucial factors that are responsible in bringing uh, these companies on the top shot uh, about my research I have my papers in supply chain management I have my uh, research in um, corporate social responsibility in economics of strategy and uh, so many things but basically I feel that uh, we need to have innovative approaches in terms of uh, developing the business plans because once you are coming in the market and if you have a good business plan and even if you don't have experience that gives you an edge upon other uh, of your competitors now that is something about me but uh, I always ask uh, this question to my students when I'm uh, giving a lecture that okay let's self-analyze uh, yourself 
First of all, uh, given that most of you must be professionals and uh, most of you uh, have a uh, lot of experience, uh, most of you might be uh, just coming up uh, starting with an undergrad and now just started your MBA. But uh, once a question was asked that, okay, what exactly is MBA? And this is the concept coming in 1950s, 1960s, which was IBA Karachi, tha, Punjab University ka IBA. Tha, and it was not, uh, we don't have the, that much mushrooming in the private sector with reference to the business education. And uh, what these business gurus said that MBA is a kind of degree where we are teaching our students like 20, 30 courses and we are making them jack of all trades. They are good for finance, they are good for marketing, they are good for management. They can actually lead a team of 10,000 people and they uh, can work in a one-man show like entrepreneurship and they run the business. And it's not like any other social science degree like if you say MSc statistics, MSc mathematics, sociology, anthropology, economics. but MBA actually makes you a complete person where you have all kinds of uh, knowledge for parks and studies, for social sciences, of uh, sociology and name any subject and you have learned it because that m tries to make you a complete person in terms of uh, the, the business environment. Now the question comes which I wanted to ask that have you ever self-analyzed yourself uh, every day? we make decisions and business management is basically about decisions so uh, my question to my students is always and you also take a minute when I'm asking this question okay what are your three major strengths the three major strengths actually differentiate for you from the rest of the crowd from the rest of your colleagues and they might be having the same strengths that you are going to say but the way you are going to use that strength that makes you a different person. Now, we are in this world, for example, let's say 40 years. And whenever you ask this question in the interviews, that is my experience when I'm taking interviews. And I ask the candidates that, okay, what are your three major strengths? I just get generic answers like hardworking, I am uh, very prompt, I am uh, blah, blah, all that kind of, uh, which maybe everyone is hardworking. But when we say you need to qualify, quantify your strength, you need to tell me what you are good at. And this is uh, my key strength that makes me different. This is what I am looking for. And when we are in the field of operations, when companies are going to hire you that, okay, let me just uh, take this person as my operations manager, believe me, that is not going to be an easy task. That is a really difficult task. Operations managers are paid really high because these are the people who are giving you the product. These are the people who are actually delivering you the service. So what we are looking into the what we are looking into the individuals whom such positions are given they are really something out of the world. Now focus on yourself that you are here in this world for the past 30 40 years. What is your strength? What are your three major strengths that makes you different from the rest? And if you self idolize yourself, don't go for that generic answers. I am hardworking, I am very friendly. Think about yourself that okay, in these years uh, that you have been in this world, what characteristics made you stand out? What characteristics have given you leverage among uh, as compared to other people? Now, once you have gotten that thing that okay these are my strengths start banking upon it and as I say that you have to uh, like invest in your strengths and you should outsource your weaknesses now the first part is that once you realize that what you are why you are here why you are pursuing this degree why you are taking this operation strategy course and believe me don't give me that answer well it was in the course outline that's why we have to take this course well if it's not in the course outline uh, you still need to know about strategy you still need to know about operations because it's not that whether you are hired in an organization and you take this um, uh, you, you take this course uh, you have to take this course even at a domestic, at a household level, when you are at home, jab aap apne ghar mein hote, even then operations are happening. And that's why 
the knowledge of operation strategy is really important that how which makes you think that okay maybe decisions kaisi hongi how i am going to take an action how i am going to develop a strategy so uh, think about your strengths and just pen it down and this is the first lecture and this is the uh, this is the thing that you have to start banking on your potential you should know ki ji meri kya aisi strengths hain that makes me different from the rest of the crowd after knowing that uh this doesn't end the question over here my my the, the my mere question ka second part hota hai what is your major weakness if you know your three major strengths you can't say ki meri koi weakness nahi hai now is billa you are not a perfect human being we are we tend to be uh, we tend to gear ourselves towards perfection lekin hamare andar weaknesses hoti hain and uh, the good part for a good business manager is that we need to accept our weaknesses and if you have seen ki ji uh, ab jo naya trend aa raha hai it is not about uh, working independently rather ab log ikatthe kaam karte hain talk about my space youtube facebook and uh, so many new ventures that have taken place now people are working in group kyunki ek aadmi ke andar utni skills nahi hoti and let's accept it we have weaknesses we can't say ki ji we are perfect alhamdulillah we have a long list of our strengths but we don't have any weakness because yahi aapki major weakness hai that you are not accepting it so therefore uh, take a minute uh, analyze yourself uh, name your three strengths one Two and three, and then talk about your two major weaknesses. What are your weaknesses now? As an operations manager, what we are looking into that we start working on our strengths or the weaknesses. होती हैं हम उन पे भी काम करते हैं because we need to talk about that how we are going to convert these weaknesses into our strengths. And once you have done that, once you have self-analyzed yourself, that actually makes you a different human being. So that is my first lesson of business, our operation strategy that learn. about yourself don't just start cramming things what is happening jo foreign books ke andar likha hua hai because we are we will adapt it we will learn it but you need to bank on your strength every person is here for a reason and we need to know what is that reason why are we here and once you know your strengths you will sh be sure that you are going to make a difference in an organization at a household level at a personal level at a professional level you do make a difference once you know who you are now that was something about myself something about a startup that okay how we are going to start up the lecture now something about the course ladies and gentlemen uh, the course code you already know uh, that is management 563 and in every lecture for the next 29 lectures you will be listening it from me again and again that this is 563 so is the fifth level course and this is operations strategies the title of the course is operation strategies and it's a three credit hour course and uh, the prereq is uh, management 460 now let's go a little bit a uh, bit uh, back and see kid you 460 concept course uh, and if you don't remember it let me just help you out and that was uh, operations management operations management is the prerequisite for this course and if you haven't taken operations management just shut down the video no uh, just reiterate your concepts that okay what you have learned so far in operations management in today's lecture i will give you a little recap that what operations management is and then i'll connect it with operation strategies and how operations management and operation strategy are different from each other coming on to the course objectives uh mai uh, i given that you already have no management you're already a business graduate so objectives hote kya hain these are the end points towards which any activity is uh geared upon so the objectives of this course are very practical what i want to do is that i don't want to make you a theoretical person that okay you just know the definition because believe me uh given some of you might be serving in corporate world but once you are in the corporate world that is really brutal they are not uh, they are not definition people they are practical people and they will be asking you a real lifetime questions a real lifetime situation simulations aapko denge so we need to be prepared that how to think out of the box that is the key good uh, thing for the course that you need to start thinking out of the box that ji humne jo cheez Uh, एक लेंस के साथ देखनी है दैट हैज टू बी डिफरेंट देर आर 
hundred people who apply for the job but once you are there your perspective has to be different because I can also tell that okay this is a this is a, a pen I can also tell that okay there's a green color at my background but ladies and gentlemen the thing is that the way you are going to explain it I'll tell you a very interesting story but a little bit later uh, that uh, what are we expecting in the corporate world out of you people now there are the some of the objectives are the student needs to understand the trade-offs between goods and services operations management in terms of characteristics kya hai aapke product characteristics aapki management ki tasks kya hai what is your organization your control mechanisms and impact on the strategy and direction of the firm so operations and strategy goes hand in hand so we need to understand ke sabse pehle jab hum baat karte hain ke ji we are good we are going to be in the operations department so you need to know what your company's vision is you need to know what your company's uh, direction is what it wants to be after 5 years 6 years so once you have understood all your operations have to be synchronized with that corporate strategy then you need to understand what are the strategic and tactical operation management issues and their relationship to other functional areas of the firm baki jo functional areas jo firm ke hote hain that is marketing and finance usually we say that there are three pillars in the business one is operations one is management one is marketing and the third one is your finance and they both they all reinforce with each other so it's just like an equilateral triangle then uh, the what i am uh, expecting that you are going to gain a lot of experience by employing and you should be able to demonstrate a basic competence with the tools and techniques used by real life operation professionals in managing operations and setting up operations policy now that is really important as i said uh, one book is being written in 2010 Uh, like one of the books that I have recommended for the course, it was written in 2010. Now it's 2015. So after five years, how you are going to manage with these changes? The concepts are uh, becoming or oh, becoming old, which you have read in the book. So we need to go out of these textbooks. We need to interact with people who are in the operations. We need to learn about their strategies. And it's not necessary that you have America ka visa lagwa ke then you go and meet Tim Cook. Okay, okay, what kind of strategy Apple is employing? You have very good amount of resources on hand, and that is the Internet Genie. You just Google them. You find. it on internet and you see ki ji which things are being employed by these management gurus now you see today's challenge is something that things have changed at the speed of light the upcoming uh, trend was ek zamane mein 3g was coming 4g was coming ab memo aa gaya hai memo is basically your 5g multiple inputs multiple outputs now uh, given these changes आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उससे अफेक्ट होती हैं आपके ऑपरेशन उसके साथ अफेक्ट होते हैं विंडोज 95 यूज टू बी अल्टीमेट इट यूज टू बी देन 97 सेवन आई पे नाइन्टी आई अब नाउ विंडोज 8 ठीक है सो टेक्नोलॉजी ने आपके जो ऑपरेशंस हैं उनके बिल्कुल जो आउटलुक है दैट हैज एक्चुअली बीन चेंज्ड बिकॉज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी नंबर टू फैक्टर ग्लोबलाइजेशन अर्लियर मुझे नहीं पता दैट व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग इन इंग्लैंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन नेदरलैंड्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन अफ्रीका व्हाट मार्केट्स आई हैव इन साउथ अफ्रीका ठीक है बट नाउ आई कैन ईजली असेस दीज मार्केट्स नाउ आई कैन लुक के जी मेरा ट्रेड पोटेंशियल इज नॉट जस्ट विद इन पाकिस्तान इट इज बियॉन्ड पाकिस्तान आई हैव टू क्रॉस अपार्ट फ्राम गेटिंग आउट ऑफ दीज जियोग्राफिक बाउंड्रीज एंड द वर्ल्ड इज फ्लैट जैसा कि थॉमस फ्रीडमैन ने कहा सो uh we have to understand that okay we are not just going to rely on the bookish knowledge we are not just going to talk about definitions we are just going to talk about how the companies are now competing with each other so that is our objective that is our uh, le- learning objective in terms of ki ji humne theoretical based managers nahi banna humne Uh, when there are the management situations, we are not going to tell them, "Oh, that is a blue strategy, that is a red ocean strategy, that is a this strategy." We have to come up with a generic solutions that will help you in terms of becoming a good manager. Now, what are the outcomes? After, inshallah, 
uh, as our uh, lectures continue and after 30 lectures what we are looking in terms of your outcomes number one that you are able and understand to perform the key steps in the development of operations management for the new and existing companies. You know that we have what are basics and how to implement these strategies. Then you also need to understand how companies set their strategic direction. Because you see, uh, if you don't know where you are going, any road can take you there. We need to have something in our mind, Keji, this is what I want to be. And as I said, even in the even in the personal lives, what we are looking into that you say, Keji, I want to do an MBA. Why you want to do an MBA? MBA is just a gap filling that this is where you want to be. I want to be in RB, I want to be in Procter & Gamble, I want to be in Unilever, I want to be the operations head of Apple, Google, Yahoo. Uh, name any company but you need to have a goal in your mind you need to set up that thing and then you formulate the strategy goal ko kaise achieve karna hai. so uh, in order to have this strategic direction you will be using a lot of data I'm talking about the business decisions and when you are using the business decisions you are actually analyzing a lot of data for example uh, when Ramazan come uh, the consumption for Coke or Pepsi it increases. Now as an operations manager one of the, the most difficult task is that you have to forecast. You need to know ki kya trends hai, maine kya forecast karna hai. And once you are forecasting it that is a tricky, uh, that is a tricky position. Given that ki ji, aapki production ho rahi hai char mahine pehle. 8 8 and if the production and consumption are not going to match if they are going to mismatch believe me write down your resignation your CEO is not interested in hiring you he doesn't want to keep such a person who has actually made a blunder because the production zyada kar di or consumption kam hui ya uski production bohat kam ho gai or consumption bohat zyada hai Theke? so we don't want to have a mismatch so therefore what organizations do is kiji aap ki jo four casting mechanisms and they are really good nowadays we are using computer simulation models nowadays we are using our experience curves learning curves in order to see what are the trends your population trend is changing your social trend is changing your demography is changing your gender ratios are changing so therefore your production targets are changing your production targets so therefore we need to understand so therefore we need to understand how to analyze this data so that we can forecast how to forecast किस्म के strategic actions लेने हैं और फिर उन actions को monitor भी करना है remember in your organization at every step we are having these monitoring mechanisms the reason is कि आप जितना late किसी चीज को monitor करते हैं आपकी cost जो होती है वो उतनी ज़्यादा high हो जाती है cost of correction so it's better it is uh, usually said that okay whenever you are making any decision or whenever you are making any strategy, you checks up so that once you have all these checkpoints, you what you do is that you always try to control the things and the uh, in the first stage rather than moving towards the last stage. Like uh, you might have heard in the news a lot that uh, Toyota ne apni gaadiya recall kar li. Jab wo Toyota apni gaadiya recall karta hai, so then the cost of correction is very high as compared to agar yehi wo action quality action ye pehle le liya. Coming on to uh, the another outcome that is understand the issues and challenges what companies are facing at the moment when they are developing the operation strategies in order to improve their performance and Jab ab new performance ki taraf jate hain, that is always part of uh, your operations. So what is the first thing that you are getting? The first thing that is you are getting is the resistance. And that resistance is from change. Because people love their cozy corners. People love their routines. They don't want change. But the dynamic leaders hote hain, dynamic managers hote hain, they're always pursuing for change. They're always looking out for opportunities. And you are one of them who are actually looking for the opportunities who are always looking at the change. So, you resistance resistance. So, we have to 
कैसे खत्म करना दैट आल्सो वी लर्न इन द ऑपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी कोर्स रिसोर्सेज इज अनदर इशू दैट द रिसोर्सेज आर ऑलवेज लिमिटेड वी डू नॉट हैव अनलिमिटेड एक्सेस टू रिसोर्स एंड स्पेशली इन द प्राइवेट कंपनीज दे वुड ऑलवेज से गेट maximum amount of minimum so when we are talking about the resources we need to be prepared ki ji aapko kaise resources hain aur aapne un resources ko kaise utilize karna hai usually we have the human financial and physical resources human financial physical resources ko aap kaise istemal karte hain that is your trick aur usme aapne efficiency aur effectiveness aapne kaise le ke aana hai then an important resource in any organization is your employees and nowadays operations ke andar ek aur issue aata hai ki ji aapka competition itna zyada aa gaya hai you have so much choices ki aapke jo employees hote hain they just switch jobs how and what kind of environment you need to create in the organization ki aapki employees retention zyada se zyada rahe then uh, how do you manage the uh the strategic planning process once you have the strategic planning process you need to manage it because whatever you have set in terms of your goals you need to actually make the mechanism you need to actually have these steps ki ji aap un uh, actions ko uh, us tarike se implement kar rahe hain ya wo aap un actions ko is tarike se employ kar rahe hain taki wo jo aapke targets hain ya jo aapke goals hain wo aapke achieve ho now coming on to that what are the recommended books and what are the additional learning materials in this course there are two books number one is uh, beckman sara and donald rosenfield ki and the title of the book is uh, operation strategy competing in the 21st century publishers are aapke migra hills 2007 ki book hai easily available and this is a book that i'll be following throughout the course Then comes your Charles Fine ki hai ek book Clock Speed Winning Industry Control in the Age of Temporary Advantage Contemporary ne ka in terms of temporary advantage a really good book it's a pretty old book uh, like I'm not giving you a 2015 book uh, they are expensive but this is worth reading both this came in 1999 and uh, it comes with a very interesting case studies if you ask if you have an access to this book just get this book and uh, it's available in ebook also or ye aapki print mein bhi maujood hai ye wali book then comes let's uh, give you an overview as i said i won't be just hopping on to operation strategy today i'll be more or less uh, moving towards ke deconstruct karunga do do words ko uh, as the title of the course suggests that there is operations and there is strategies and then we talk about operation strategy as a whole but given ki aapne operations management pehle padha hua so i'm just giving you a quick recap today ke let's say ke ji economy is bad jo ke not every economy is good economy is always bad aur agar wo economy is bad na ho tab tak you don't make a struggle that okay i need to move forward i need to work upon uh, some uh, mechanism so that we become sustainable so given that economy is bad let's be an entrepreneur that's the tagline ab kya hota hai ki ji agar hum uh entrepreneur banna chahte hain or if we want to start up our own business so what business aspects would you consider for starting a fusion food restaurant in islamabad given that we are in the capital that's where we're islamabad ka otherwise if you are listening in lahore or maybe you are khol sakte hain if you are listening in gujarat or any part of pakistan or even outside pakistan let's see let's open a restaurant and what factors you are going to uh, take in uh, consider in your mind if you open up a restaurant so let's start think about some points ki ji agar humne uh, इस्लामाबाद लाहौर कराची फैसलाबाद वट एवर सिटी यू वॉन्ट टू बी और वेर एवर यू आर अगर आप एक रेस्टोरेंट खोलते हैं वॉट थिंग्स यू आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू सो वॉट आर द मेजर थिंग्स दैट यू आर लुकिंग इन टू नाउ ऑब्वियसली आई कॉन्ट हेयर यू एंड आई नो यू आर टॉकिंग वेरी वेल बट सम ऑफ द वॉइस दैट आई गेट इन माई ईयर इज वेन आई एम टीचिंग इन द क्लास दैट आई गेट इज के जी वी नीड फाइनेंस very important yes you need good you need finance to start up a business what else then you need marketing but marketing us waqt hogi jab aapne product bana liya hai 
और प्रोडक्ट बनाने के लिए यू नीड गुड ऑपरेशन यू नीड लोकेशन यू नीड प्रोडक्ट यू नीड इट्स मार्केटिंग यू नीड इट्स पैकेजिंग यू नीड गुड टारगेट मार्केट कि किसने उस प्रोडक्ट को आपका खरीदेगा सो देर फो देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू सी आपका सेल्स प्लान क्या होगा आपकी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स क्या होगी उनकी क्या स्ट्रेंथ्स होंगी वेर डू यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन द रेस्टोरेंट आई यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन इट फॉर द मासज और यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन इट फॉर द क्लासेस सो दे आर फोर बिफोर वी आर इवन थिंकिंग जी हम अपना कोई रेस्टोरेंट खोलते हैं यू कैन सी हाउ मैनी थिंग्स और हाउ मैनी डायमेंशन वी हैव टू लुक इन टू कि जी हमने अगर अपना ऑफिस या हमने अपना ये होटल खोलना है इसके लिए हमें कितने वो जैसे कहते हैं डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिसोर्स चाहिए एक्सपर्टीज चाहिए आर ऑबियसली योर टाइम is also there so what we are looking into ke ji agar aap inko major categories ke andar breakdown bhi kare so one of the major things is that you are looking into is your operations theek hai as as in the start of the lecture i said ke ji aapka operations marketing or finance this is like the holy trinity aapke kisi business mein finance ke bagair obviously my operations ne aapka product bana diya hai and once the product has been made or the service that you are delivering wo aapki ho gayi hai then you have to market it ab yahan pe teen cheeze aa jati hain ke ji aapne jab operations kar liya so what exactly we are doing operations ke andar we say ke ji uh, the company has two objectives the company is either maximizing the profit or it is minimizing the cost so operations ko hum is tarike se rakhte hain that your operations needs to be efficient operations needs to be effective operations need to be following the lean management system operations needs to ye bhi na ho ke you have produced the product in such a hasty manner and such a manner ke ji ab product ka aapka quality product nahi raha like i was giving you the example for toyota recalls uh, you are uh, let's say you have already opened a restaurant or jab aapne restaurant khola the food is made within one minute but it's not up to the mark it's not up to the quality so therefore that is also important now if you have seen ke we recently mcdonald's uh, pakistan ke andar at least in some of the chains that i have experience and some of the outlets that i have experience the moment you order they try to fulfill your order within one minute so their operations have changed their operations have become much faster uh सत्या नडाल से पहले इट वॉज डू यू नो सत्या नडाल रेज योर हांट सत्या नडाल से पहले ही इज द सी ओ ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बिफोर सत्या नडाल देर वर टू पोजिशन वन वॉज माइकल एवरी वन वॉज अबाउट हिम दैट वॉज स्टीव जॉब्स नो नॉट स्टीव जॉब्स आई एम सॉरी सॉरी आई एम कंफ्यूजिंग एप्पल विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट दैट वॉज बिल गेट्स now uh, if you look at the strategies of microsoft so throughout uh, their tenure in microsoft what are they looking into they are just focusing on uh, this uh, apple something is happening i'm confusing the two companies my apologies but they are constantly focusing on windows right uh, just now when i'm delivering this lecture i just remember wo kehte hain na ke there were good times when apple and blackberry were only fruits at least we could just remember them but now you just these words are always on your mind and uh, they these multinationals have actually just made the consumer so much brand conscious anyway uh, so what we are saying is ke uh, during the regimes of uh, bill gates what the core objective of or what the core actions of microsoft has been ki ji humne apne windows ko strong karna hai windows 95 windows 98 and all their staff they were just working and हार्ड कोर वर्किंग सिर्फ किस पे करते थे विंडोज पे करते थे नथिंग एल्स अगर आप उनकी पिछली प्रोफाइल्स उठा लें कि जी वॉट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन किस किस्म की इनोवेशन हुई हैं तो यू वो जस्ट से कि जी इट वॉज ओनली इन विंडोज नाउ अयर बैक वन सत्या नडाल द इंडियन गाय वॉज यू हैज बिन सर्विंग इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम वैन ही केम ओवर एंड दिस वॉज द डेलीमा the staff was not happy the people weren't happy because aapki organizations ke andar koi innovations ho hi nahi rahi and what only innovations is taking place that okay just make windows super duper just make windows nothing else 
Now when Satya came and uh, uh, there was a very brilliant article, I think I'll uh, place it in your uh, course pack, that why Indians are becoming CEOs. If you see Coke, if you see Adobe, if you see so many other American organizations, European organizations, in care basically got CEOs of Indians. Hai. Why Indians are taking us to Pakistan? And uh, keep that reason to yourself if you are saying that we are that is not the reason, right? But uh, the, the article really pull out some really good insights that why Indians are becoming the CEOs. Chinese bhi hai maha pe, but Indians are now taking on the top of the, uh, in the top management. So, uh, the same case when I was in Dubai, uh, most of the organizations that were, that are in the top shot, or the top shot, uh, slots mein aapke Indian CEOs aapke nazar aate. Anyway, uh, that is a different story. So, when Satya came and he got the feedback that, okay, uh, because we are just focusing on windows and it's not taking us anywhere when other companies have really diversified their product portfolio. So what they did was uh, they called this phenomena as the strategy tax. They said that you have to have innovation which, is, uh, which has no boundaries. You have actually bounded us that you have to focus on this box that you just have to focus on Windows. So they call it as a strategy tax. So when Satya came, he actually changed it up. They are trying to make Microsoft Office as an open source or of uh, different strategies employ, operation strategies employ, so that things get out of the box. People don't just focus on Windows. Windows ke alawa bhi aur dunia hai. So, operations aapke ek dab dekhe change ho gaye with the leadership. Similarly, Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes came with the new function ke US ke andar on the weekends they drink a lot or accidents aapke bohat zyada hote hain because uh, of this drinking habit because uh, that's well, the, uh, that is one of the factors. So what they have done is that uh, Mercedes ne, uh, operations is three se ki hai, that they have developed a car and it's again not because of the finance, not because of the marketing, it is the operations guy who have actually developed such a product and us product in the kya kiya hai, that they have that when a person who is going to drive the car, he just sits there, it automatically takes a test. And if the car feels that the person is drunk, it won't start. Isn't it amazing? We need to have something like that in Pakistan because here people are either sleeping on the GT road or on the highways. That, But uh, this is uh, their phenomenal kind of uh, innovation that they have brought in the car and they have said that uh, when if someone is unfit to drive the car, what they will do is that the car will not start. Okay, now uh, talking about uh, Microsoft talking about uh, this uh, another company Mercedes so it's uh, it's a teamwork but uh, if operations are not giving their uh, output nothing your finance money is not going to do anything your marketing people will only market that product which operations have actually developed so operations are really important now what exactly is operation? It's basically when inputs are taken, an old recap, I know you know that, but when inputs are transformed into outputs. And if in the, uh, if in the slide you see inputs, then there's a transformation process and then you are talking into output. Now the important part is that I have used the word transformation process. Now uh, process is basically, it's a set of sequential steps. Kiji up A, B, C, yeah, one, two, three ko follow kare. It's a scientific kind of thing. It's not just random ke creativity is at it's where koi bhi ap cheese utha le and then you just start transforming it. No, it's a process in which transformation is going to take place and you are given an output. Similar, well, let's talk about a simple operation. The simple operations would be Kiji virtual campus. Uh, inputs, you people are the inputs and once with these zabardast kind of lectures, what you are doing is that you just transform, your, yeah, you have transformed, you transform yourself and you turn into good business graduates. So that is a whole operations. Now, 
If, uh, 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 as I was telling you about Toyota, the late recalls, cost up ki jo correction wo high ho jati hai. Agar mein controls or checks pehli stage pe na laga hon, or if I do not give you proper assignments, if they're not being marked, if it's not competitive, then obviously our output is going to be bad and next time no one is going to come for this uh, program. So therefore, uh, you have to establish or you have to develop this process in such a way that you have the built-in monitoring or evaluation ho rahi ho. Now, kis kism ki transformations ho sakti when we are talking about operations or har cheez mein aapki aapki strategy banegi there can be a physical transformation physical transformation is that you take water you take tea bag you take milk process kiya and it turns into a tea okay before that they were all separate ingredients but now it's so it's a physical transformation you take a wood turn it into a table that is a transformational process physical transformation then it's a locational transformation okay then it's an exchange you have a storage you have physiological you have informational uh, change so yes sari aapki transformations ho rahi hoti hain okay uh, you you take some uh, raw data, you make some, uh, you tr run some regressions, you turn into it uh, into a good forecast model. So uh, these transformations are important. Again, transformation hoi nere, the way it was, and the uh, input bhi hoi tha, output bhi hoi tha, then you haven't done any operations. So in, in operations, there are certain interventions that turn those inputs into your outputs. Then. Uh, coming on to, as I said that today, I'm just going to recap you with your uh, previous course. Uh, so let's see that what exactly is operations management. Once you know case okay, managing operations management, then you start developing the strategy for that. So uh, in operations management, what we are looking into is that it is basically the management of the process. Okay, us process ki management kar rahe hote hain by which your inputs are transformed into your outputs. Then uh, if you're looking into the box, resources are human, material, financial, informational, and we have transformed and we have a product. If we define product, product is basically it is a set of tangible and intangible attributes. When I say tangible, kehta, you can touch it. I'll, uh, let's suppose iPhone. iPhone is a tangible, but uska jo intangible ye hai the brand name, the prestige, the outlook. All the, the res uh, people say that okay, they get respected by when they're using good brands. Nike, uh, well, uh, so many brands are there. Theek hai? So those are the intangible attributes of a product. Or it may be a service. You go to a restaurant, you go to a, uh, the, this traveling agency, you go to tourism. Now these are all serves you go to hospital care public hospitals versus private hospitals kya unko cheez different karti those their operations their quality mechanisms their way they are handling the patients the quality of doctors that are available so even in services we are talking about ki ji aapke andar transformation aapki kaisi ho rahi hai theek hai then aapka ye jo aaya hai theek hai this is basically your operations management we are actually managing the transformation then a uh, bookish definition hai about operations management that is basically operations is responsible for supplying the product or service Thikera? so that is very crucial that is basically the heart of any uh, organization Ki agar aapko product or service millinery or agar mil bhi it is really bad that all the jo all the uh, all the blames are going to go towards operations kitchen operations team so operations managers that is you make decisions ab yahi jo decisions hai isi ke andar aapki formulation of strategies ho rahi hoti hain when they are making decisions they are making strategies aur kiske bare mein wo bana rahe hote hain for the operations functions and in connection with other functions your baki functions as i said aapka finance ka chal raha aapka procurement ka chal raha aapka marketing ka chal raha aapka sales ka chal raha aapke human resource ki ye process ye sare aapke synchronize hone chahiye with your operations management so the operations manager plan and control the production system jo aapka production system usko plan karte hain and they also control it with its interfaces with the organization and with external environment in any organization uh, there is an internal environment and external environment you have done it so many times but your external environment is usually uncontrollable and what we are saying in the external environment usually they are the best the 
political, uh, economic, social and technological changes which can't be controlled but organizations ne kya karna tha? either unko saath wo adapt kar leti hai ya unko compete karke further innovations le ke aati hai. So these are the, uh, this is the true definition of operations management. So, now you have one side pe aapka good and on one side you services. These are the two extremes. So, you have operations, aapke hote hai, but your goods and services are cut and that is the mixture. So, these are the two extremes and in the middle it is the mixture of both. Now, in operations management, we have some key decision areas hai, where we have to take decisions, where we, we have to develop our strategies. Ke, humne kya karna. Number one is your process. Process, if you look at so you have to shorten them, you have to make them efficient. Karna hota. You have to make them cost effective. So once you are working on the process, that is basically you are working in operations. And once the operations are uh, like uh, efficient in terms of process to aapka jo delivered good or service hogi, wo bhi aapki quality wali hogi, hai? second one is your quality now people don't bother about uh, the process much now they are talking about could use product jo product to aapne jo bana diya, but that product needs to be a quality product and if the product is quality product then it is also one of the determinants for a good operations management okay so quality is very much over there then what is your capacity how many decisions because your demand is always fluctuating sometimes the demand is higher sometimes the demand is low and if the demand is high how many operations cast it if the demand is low pyramid operations cast it and there is another big factor what you inventory if you have inventory ko manage kiya hua hai ya nahi kiya hua hai? if you're managing your inventory you have inventory kaise manage ki hua? which kind of uh, process you are following because if the inventories are becoming higher it means that it is going to create some problems in the longer run so we can't have uh, lots and lots of inventories yes there needs to be a backup plan there needs to be some reserve capacity but aap ye na ho na ki inventory aap ki increase hoti ja rahi hai jaise jaise aapka product production ho rahi hai waise wo inventory ho jata hai lekin inventory se wo aage utilize bhi ho if you are not going to do with that then that is going to create problems then <coughs> comes your relation of operations and its uh, operations and its environment this kind of care they have to put external environment of them come out of the one uh, one side of the best of them political economic social and technological other side of the supplier of the supplier is very important if supply don't give you the raw materials of transform is going to take it so what kind of relationship you have with suppliers how many suppliers do you have so that is also very important in operations or apne apne operations ki strategy kis tarikas rakhni i'll tell you once uh, we uh, continue with the course i'll tell you the story of starbucks coffee not the satar baksh the one we have in karachi <laughs> but the starbucks the uh, the coffee uh, multinational which makes the best coffee best roasted brew coffee so uh, starbucks ke ek bataunga ki us time ne suppliers ke sath kaisa relationship rakha hua then you have the society society ke andar you have when you are taking something from the society you have to give that to so aapke wo bhi operations ka hissa ban jata hai and then you have the government what kind of taxes what kind of tariff system what kind of policies the government is applying because whatever government is going to do that is definitely going to impact your operations for example government ke theek mein aap tax laga rahi ho the moment it employs tax so either you are going to reduce your profit margin or if you still want to keep the same amount of profit wow aapki kya ho jayegi price increase hogi and the moment aapki price increase hogi it is going to affect your demand of the product so therefore the government is also an external player not in our control but governments do influence your business management uh, decisions business management processes then your customers customers concert they have the people who are buying the product i always ask one question from my students kiji aapke customer or consumer me kya farak hota hai customer is anyone who buys the product or aapka jo consumer hota hai the person who actually uses the product or in a decent way we can say a person who actually uh, destroys the utility of the product who actually uses the product when you were young you weren't going to the markets eat pay aapke parents aapke liye kapde le ke aate the but they were not wearing them you were wearing it you were wearing those clothes so therefore aapka jo customer hota hai that is basically anyone who buys the product that is a customer or the consumer hota who actually utilize karta hai utility ko but in business what we do is hum customer or consumer ko takriban synonymously use karte hain hum 
कस्टमर का वर्ड यूज कर रहे हैं देन यू हैव योर कंपेटिटर्स यू आर नॉट द ओनली स्मार्टेस्ट पर्सन ऑन द ब्लॉक हु इज रनिंग दिस बिजनेस देर आर सो मैनी अदर्स ठीक है जहाँ पे एप्पल आया वहाँ पे सैमसंग भी आ गया जहाँ पे पेप्सी थी वहाँ पे कोक भी आ गया जहाँ पे कोडैक था वहाँ पे कॉनिका भी आ गया देर सो मैनी अदर कंपनी सो दे आर फो नाइकन आ गया Uh, the, your competitors are always there, and these competitors are actually angels. I always call them they are angels because they actually push you out of your sluggishness, out of your dullness, out of your laziness, and they make you competitive. They make you to innovate. They force you to give you to give customers a quality product. So, जब तक competitor नहीं है, there's no fun. As I said, if you are studying in a class and you are just the only student. no competition no motivation to study no motivation to work hard but once you are in a class of 200 students then you are always in a uh, struggle you always want to be the number one you always want to be the best so therefore you are in your, your external environment these factors are there but in the internal environment what we have we have our human resources we have our engineering we have our marketing we have our accounting we have finance we have our computer science uh, the division that is your uh, mis management information system so तो ये आपके इंटरनल फैक्टर या आपके इंटरनल डिपार्टमेंट्स हैं वो आपके एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स हैं और इन इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल को क्या करना चाहिए दे शुड बी वर्किंग इन हार्मनी अगर इनमें हार्मनी नहीं है तो आपके ऑपरेशंस क्या हो जाएंगे दे वर गोइंग टू बी डिस्टर्ब and uh, this yellow arrow that actually is what you are going to do you are going to transform the system given these external factors and these internal factors then इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स के हमारी ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट चेंज कैसे होती जा रही है ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट चेंज इस तरह हो गई दैट योर यू आर हैविंग न्यू सप्लाई चेन ट्रेंड्स आपकी जो सप्लाई चेन थी इन द रीसेंट पास्ट इफ यू हैव सीन आर बी पी एन जी प्रॉक्टर पी एन जी इज प्रॉक्टर एंड गैम्बल ऑब्वियसली यूनी लीवर श्लाम मोल नेस्ले पेप्सी टेट्रा पैक ऑल दीज कंपनीज दे हैव कम अप विद दिस पोजिशन के जी हम एम टी ओ प्रोग्राम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट में बिकॉज सप्लाई चेन इज नाउ बिकमिंग रियली क्रूशल क्योंकि आपके ऑपरेशन एक जगह हो रहे हैं मार्केटिंग एक जगह हो रही है फाइनेंस कहीं से आ रहा है सो दैट चेन नीड्स टू बी कनेक्टेड सो अगर हम सप्लाई चेन की छोटी सी डेफिनेशन करें जो आपका है पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान टबैको कंपनी वो क्या कहता है सप्लाई चेन के बारे में फ्राम सीड टू स्मोक यानी आपका प्रोसेस जब मोमेंट आप अपना रॉ मटीरियल ले रहे होते हैं तब से लेके टिल यू हैव एंड फिनिश इट आपकी ये जो रहती है आपकी ये सारी क्या कहलाई जाती है दैट इज योर सप्लाई चेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान आई थिंक नाउ वी आर वर्किंग अ लॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सप्लाई चेन यू माइट हैव सीन कि हर कंपनी आपको इस तरीके के प्रोफेशनल्स मांग रही होती हैं सप्लाई चेन इज रेरी क्रूशल इफ यू नो supply chain uh, you can easily make your name in the organization so uh, there are courses i believe in your mba for your supply chain and if you have an option i would really recommend you go for that course now uh, supply chain ki jo dusri definition ek to maine bataya it is seed uh, from seed to smoke यानी इट इंक्लूड्स के रॉ मटेरियल से लेके अनटिल द कस्टमर हैज एक्चुअली यूटिलाइज द प्रोडक्ट दैट इज बेसिकली योर सप्लाई चेन then comes your globalization of operations ab aapne word suna hoga outsourcing so what we are doing is maine abhi shuru mein bhi aapko bataya tha we bank on our strengths and we outsource our weaknesses so banking on the strength means jo hum achieve bana sakte hain i am making it but in terms of your uh, this uh, weaknesses what we do is we go for the cheaper options nike has moved to indonesia to make their uh, sneakers uske baad there are so many firms अगर आप देखोगे पाकिस्तान के अंदर आप कोई बेस्ट फॉरेन ब्रांड्स की शॉपिंग करते हो तो वहाँ पे क्या उन्होंने किया हुआ कि जी आपकी जो प्रोडक्ट्स हैं वो बांग्लादेश के अंदर बने हुए हैं बांग्लादेश के अंदर होता है देन कोस्टा रिका यानी स्मॉल डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज के अंदर प्रोडक्ट बना होता है बट प्रोडक्ट का जो ब्रांड नेम है दैट इज़ फ्रॉम यू सो अब क्या हो रहा है कि आपकी जो ऑपरेशन हैं वो क्या होते जा रहे हैं ग्लोबल ऑपरेशन होते जा रहे हैं यू शुड नॉट बी अमेज इफ आई टोल टेल यू दैट जनरल मोटर्स के कुछ पार्ट्स आपके कराची के अंदर बनते हैं ठीक है सो वॉट दे आर डूइंग इज दे हैव एक्चुअली स्टार्ट द बिजनेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ग्लोबल अब द यू डोंट जस्ट स्टे योर कीप योर सेल्फ इन वन स्मॉल कंट्री और इन वन स्मॉल जियोग्राफिक एरिया यू हैव टू मूव और यू हैव टू मेक दिस बॉर्डर मच मोर पोरस then comes your uh, environmental concerns environmental concerns he they are uh, they are becoming the latest trend in uh, operations environment reasoning 
uh, one of the reasons why developed countries were actually moving their operations towards developing countries because our environmental laws are very weak. Uh, our environmental laws are not in play. Like if you look California, go dekhe, over there, Arnold Schwarzenegger has set up some really strict environmental, uh, uh, con uh, environmental laws, uh, environmental conditions, auditing, monitoring. If you go to Singapore, mein chale jayin, and they take environment very seriously. And if you are, if you move from New York to California, you have to test your car again because there are the environmental pollution ke standards in the state of California that is much more higher as compared to any other state. So these economies have really flourished once they have actually uh, built up on the environmental concerns. Yani jab unki environment ki ko bhi lana padta hai. Now it is a kind of majburi that okay you need to bring these environmental uh, concerns in the uh, in, in your strategy in your plans. Then customer directed operations. As we said customer is the king and uh, customer can't be wrong. Customer is never wrong. But you need to make feel customer that he or she is important. They are not just ordinary uh, people but they are actually owners they are actually running the shows therefore what we need is we need a good operations uh, heads who can actually knowledge of how to keep their customers involved now comes the last point and that is your e-commerce e-commerce has actually revolutionized the speed of trade it has actually brought so many uh, benefits that you it's unbelievable like now I can buy and share stocks in uh, anywhere. I can actually start trading in US. So why it is possible because the e-commerce has actually taken up. Now you will see a uh, uh, investment ke mein ke, we will see ke mm, the investment in the hardcore or long term projects have finished. Now people work on the short term people work on the uh, the bigger projects in which there is lots and lots of uh, uh, role of internet because internet has actually revolutionized your operations uh, you can imagine in the uh, there's a consumer uh, phenomena about uh, online shopping but that online shopping trend has been changed now people don't just go on the shop people buy the product online Ab online payments maybe operations change ho gaye earlier people were scared ke ji, i don't have a debit card i don't have a credit card how i'm going to buy the product online so what they say is that you just choose the product you like the product once you have once we make a delivery then you just uh, pay the person at that point of time. So that is another innovation in terms of the world of finance that how they are actually keeping their transactions much more faster as compared to traditional business models. So e-commerce has really changed their operation scenario. Your customer directed operations, customer is, is very important, customer is the king. And we have to see what customer is uh, want. Agar if you are not uh, doing what the customer wants he or she is not never going to buy your product again now these are uh, the trends that okay, our 2014 can that how things have changed how things have changed now 3d 3d value chain I give you my 2d theme yeah Michael Potter Harvard uh, Business School ke, and there's another fellow who have actually developed the 3d supply chain and um, manufacturers they will start they will start following the 3d supply chains then operation information and consumer technology coverage to reshape approaches to technology management then supply chain technology investment will involve modernizing these existing systems while also trying new approaches now they have started using the new approaches then then we say that there is a modernization of the underlying b2b is basically business to business commerce backbone becomes an investment priority for information technology uske baad aapka jo product life cycle management thi plmn uska kya bana that strategies have become much more global now they are global multidisciplinary and involved based and customer focused then uh, plm 
ये जो है आपकी प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजमेंट वॉट इट इज़ दिस डूइंग इट इज़ फोकसिंग ऑन द वैल्यू रियलाइजेशन वन ऑफ द थिंग्स वॉज कि जी अगर आपके प्रोडक्ट में वैल्यू नहीं है सो इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू बी परचेज सो दे आर फॉर वी नीड सम वैल्यू इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन सर्विटाइजेशन ऑप्टोमाइजेशन सर्विटाइजेशन अभी हम आगे भी कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ेंगे बट दिस इज बेसिकली अ फॉर्म ऑफ ऑप्टोमाइजेशन वे आर रीचिंग एन ऑप्टोम सोल्यूशन विल बी द कोर ऑफ फ्यूचर प्रॉफिटेबल रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ एंड लीडिंग मैनुफैक्चर विल मेक द नेसेसरी इन्वेस्टमेंट टू मेक दीज स्ट्रैटीज देन इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट द फैक्ट्री ऑफ द फ्यूचर आपकी जो टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन था इट सेट द स्टेज फॉर न्यू मैनुफैक्चरिंग रेनासांस then plant for it investments will consider to be uh, to become a higher share of the overall technology investment portfolio now uh, ladies and gentlemen let me just tell you we are coming towards the end of the lecture and i need to just share that okay what are we going to cover in this course and how it is going to be i already told you ki ji aapki do books hain theek hai both are very good in terms of your reading in terms of developing the skill but uh, the more important thing and you have to just just a many you have to pooch tha ki okay, what are your three strengths what are your two weaknesses i would say ki you need to understand that uh, what Uh, is happening at the moment. Remember, आपने वर्क फोर्स तब ज्वाइन करनी है जब आपके दो हज़ार टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन में शायद किसी ने ज्वाइन की हो तो वो जो चेंजेज हैं वो आपके आते रहेंगे सो वी नीड टू हैव दीज कॉन्सेप्ट रेली गॉन थ्रू नाउ द कोर्स इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर पार्ट्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वॉट वी विल डू इज वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू लुक एट द कॉन्सेप्ट एज competitive leverage using manufacturing and uh, operations the impact of competitive environment and the structure of value chain ye hum ne cover kar liya tha ki the people are very happy in terms of these uh, technology decisions and people are happy in terms of this change because now the change is too rapid change is too fast and remember that we are we are we are not generation x generation y or baby boomers now this is the age of millennials the people who are joining the workforce maybe in a year or so they are known as the millennials and therefore such uh, decisions need to be really fast they need to be competitive when the millennials are dealing with these uh, situations and we also need to see that how it impacts the environment the competitive environment and what is the structure of the value chain abhi humne piche padha tha ki jo value chain out kal 3d value chains are a ka concept aa gaya hua hai theek hai in the second part what we will do is we will talk about the key elements and the decision categories in an operations strategy this includes facilities and capabilities uh, technology and other decision categories Now, in each of these areas, we will examine how different choices affect the business competitively, and how to make decisions uh, in each of these. Now, coming on to the third part over here, we are going to use the integrated strategic approach, in which each places requirements on operations, but allow different means for companies to compete. We will compare these different approaches and trade-offs among them. and last but not the least number one point is that finally in the fourth part we will examine some of the issues in operations policy and strategy that are particularly relevant for today and these issues have resolved all around outsourcing and globalization it would have never come or uh, occurred agar aapko ye connected na hota if it is not highly integrated so what we need to realize is that now no business can survive alone and everyone is working in groups everyone is collaborating with each other but that is just at an organizational level we need to bring it at the policy level we need to see ki ji aapka जो है ग्लोबलाइजेशन है वो आपकी स्ट्रैटेजी को क्या स्ट्रॉन्ग करता है या वो आपकी स्ट्रैटेजी को वीक करता है एंड हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट स्ट्रैटेजी सो दिस इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इन द फोर्थ लेक्चर कि जी हमारी जो होगी स्ट्रैटेजी 
वो हमारी पॉलिसी के साथ किस तरह सिंक्रोनाइज करती है पहले तो अपने कॉरपोरेट स्ट्रेटजी की बात की हाउ ऑपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी सिंक्रोनाइज कॉरपोरेट स्ट्रेटजी नाउ वी लुक इन टू ऑपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी वर्सेज द वर्सेज ऑपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी एट द ग्लोबल लेवल एंड हाउ इट इज़ रिलेटेड विद द गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दैट एक्चुअली सम्स अप द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आर टूडे वॉट वी हैव कवर्ड इज कि जी आपके क्या हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव इस कोर्स के कि आपके आउटकम्स क्या हैं आपके बुक्स कौन सी पढ़नी हैं बट बिलीव मी आई विल रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू दैट नाव स्टार्ट रीडिंग द मैगजीन्स अपनी एक आदत डालें दैट वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द पाकिस्तानी कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द बिजनेस कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग इन द वेस्ट सो अगेन आई एम नॉट सेंग कि आपको सिर्फ पाकिस्तान का पता होना चाहिए यू नीड टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग इन अमेरिका वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग इन यू इन यू के विद रेफरेंस टू योर बिजनेस मैन फोकस इज दैट वैन यू आर लिसनिंग टू माई लेक्चर एट लीस्ट यू हैव रेड समथिंग वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग एट द मोमेंट सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट कनेक्टिंग जो थेरी और प्रैक्टिस आपस में कितना डाइवर्ज करती है या कितना कन्वर्ज करती है वेदर जो चैलेंजेस ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन के हमने पढ़े हैं आर दे स्टिल द चैलेंजेस या इससे आगे हम कहीं और चले गए एंड दैट नॉलेज विल ओनली कम इफ यू स्टार्ट मेक अप योर माइंड कि जी मैंने एक हफ्ते में इकोनमिस्ट फॉर्ब्स है बिजनेस वीक है बिजनेस एशिया है एक बिजनेस मैगजीन मैंने लाजमी पढ़ना है सो इफ यू डो नॉट हैव द सब्सक्रिप्शन जस्ट गेट वन और यू कैन गो टू द लाइब्रेरी बट एट लीस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम अ गुड स्टूडेंट ऑफ ऑपरेशन स्ट्रैटी यू नीड टू स्टार्ट रीडिंग थिंग्स यू नीड टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग फ्राम योर टेक्सट बुक दैट आई हैव प्रपोज Uh, till then, uh, what we are going to do is that in the second uh, lecture, I am going to talk about today. Just now, I mean operations management. Come and buy the buy. I mean, I have talked about in the next lecture. I'll be talking about strategy. And from lecture three, we combine the two. That operation strategy. Kya hoti hai? This would be my mode of my uh, my mode of instruction. I hope you people enjoyed. Uh, keep smiling and uh, one more thing that do revise your uh, lecture what we have covered so far because if you keep forgetting then there is no use of moving ahead so uh, if any problem uh, stay in touch with the virtual campus and i'm going to see you next time in the next lecture thank you so much